Hi, I'm Aki Kareem. I'm here with Chaos Boxing in association with RealCombatMedia.com. And I'm back again with Mr. Kerry Kays. And this time to talk about Tony the Bomber Bellew, who goes in uh, to defend his cruiserweight title um, against Flores on the 15th of October. Um, first of all, what's it like to work with a character like Tony the Bomber Bellew? I would work with him, know him, knock about with him. He's a character, he's, he's a fantastic human being. Um, anyone who's ever met Tony Bellew will, will know what a massive heart, not only in the ring but outside the ring, what a decent human being he is, what a family man he is. And he is really a lovely, lovely, lovely person, yeah. Tony. I mean, he gets a lot of stick for sort of his pre-fight antics and the sort of way he comes across pre-fight and like you, you know he says things which I don't know sometimes I don't know whether it's to get a reaction or whatnot so you, are you saying that's not the real Tony Bellew? Well, that, that's the character Tony Bellew plays and he's going to do this he's going to do that to the opponent you look what Tony Bellew does immediately after the fight to every opponent yeah. he goes over shows them loads of yeah. respect yeah. gives them loads of love Tony, Tony, Tony's a character. That's the character he plays. That's the pantomime yeah. villain he plays. Yeah. He's a lovely man. Because he was, he was very, very humble after the uh, recent um, Makabu fight where he put him down with a chilling left hook uh, in the second round. And then, yeah, you're right, straight away he came over and showed the respect. Um, that night was a massive night in British boxing, just a huge night. What was it like to be part of that event? Well, it was incredible. I was in the corner. I had the best seat in the house. Yeah. I was in the dressing room with him. Um, we, 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 um, I, w I went to the hotel before the fight, uh, met up with him, went to the fight, got in the dressing room. We're in the, we're in the home dressing room. We're in Everton yeah. football yeah, club yeah, yeah. dressing room. And then there's quite a few people there. And then Gary, his best mate, who always looks after him, uh, stands up about you know maybe an hour before the fight and goes right can everybody leave now and then all the people have to leave the dressing room and he's left with maybe three or four of yeah, us yeah. they're like yeah. the, the you know the little inner circle and um and then you see you see tony completely changed now put his fighting head on and dave caldwell who's a fantastic uh, you're looking my, my twin, look my twin, Dave Caldwell. Shout alike. out to Dave Caldwell. Pa part three, we're going to shave his head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, um, and then we sit down, and and, and the privilege and honour it is to be to listen to Dave talk about tactics, and then be with Tony in the tunnel, get in the corner, get all the gear ready, and then Dave giving it, Kerry, pass me this, pass me that, and I'm, basically I'm just labouring in the corner, but I'm being an assistant, you're working, and then you sat there with the best seat in the house, yeah. you're looking around, people are paid God knows how much money for tickets, and I've got the best seat in the I house. I can tell you, 350 for ringside it was. <laughs> um, just on that though, I mean, from such a massive, massive night, um, can Tony Bell you get himself up again? You know, uh, for a fight now, yeah. he's, can he get himself up again? Yeah, yeah. because he wants a, he wants another one of those nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants, yeah. He, of course, he can. And it, and 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 Tony's not complacent. And let's 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 live in the real world as well. Tony Bell of this world, the Smith brothers, you know, all the boxers, crawlers. They started out boxing because they love the sport, and then somewhere along the line, they converted that love of a sport to a business. They're, they're fighters, they're journeymen, but more importantly, they've got to earn a living to secure the future of their family. They don't, they, they still love the sport, but all of a sudden now it's a professional sport. The yeah. professional boxers, and Tony wants as many of them nights as he could get, yeah, because he wants to secure the future for his family. Yeah, yeah. Um, after the Ma Macabu fight, he actually called out David Hay. Now, was he being serious when he was calling out David Hay? Well, he, 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 he certainly was at the time, who yeah. knows? But I mean, again, remember what I just said. He's, in, in many ways, he's a, he, he's, 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 it's a business, you know what I mean? And, and a fight with David Hay would cement a legacy, it would cement the future of his family. And, yeah. and you know, yeah. he, you know who, who knows what Tony can do in the ring? Is he the biggest puncher you've ever worked with? I mean, he seemed to carry his power up to cruiser. He's a big puncher at light heavyweight, but he's a big puncher at cruiser. Is he the biggest puncher you've ever worked with? Um, I, t I tell you, could bang. Paul Smith. Paul Smith, yeah. Paul, yeah, Paul yeah. Smith could bang. Because I worked with Paul quite a lot. I worked a lot of, a lot of Paul's corners. Paul he's, he's coming Paul back at the minute now, isn't he? And like, yeah. With the yeah, but, you know, Paul, Paul left hook off the ropes. God, he could bang. So, um, 
Tony Bellew, yeah, probably Tony Bellew, Paul Smith. Is is Tony Bellew, um, you know, in terms of like the big nights that he's got left, is there anyone that's on his particular radar, obviously bearing in mind if he comes through the, the Flores fight, which we, you know, hope and expect him to, is there anyone that you know like that he that's on his radar that he wants to match with? Honestly, I don't. Honestly, God, I think, I think if, if it makes sense that it makes money, yeah. Tony will go for it. Great. And just finally then, would you give us a sort of a prediction of how you see the Flores fight going? Because Flores is a big talker himself. Yeah. He's almost talked himself into this fight. They've had some great back and forths on Twitter and whatnot. Uh, how do you see this fight going? I think going? Tony will stop him. I think yeah. Tony will stop early him. Early? Oh, who knows? I, I think early middle. I think early Tony middle. will stop him. Right. Well, you heard it here from the man himself. Uh, this is Kerry Kay's legend in boxing. And uh, I'm Aki Karim for Chaos Boxing uh, in association with realcombatmedia.com. Check it out.